Out tonight, a new plan to save a fire district on the verge of shutting down in Nevada County. Three different districts could soon become one. Thanks for staying with us at 530. I'm Marley Ginter and I'm Curtis Ming. Rough and ready fire district was set to close at the end of this month and CBS 13 story Apodaca is live in Penn Valley getting answers on if we can expect more fire districts to merge. It's definitely a real possibility. We've seen fire districts having to close down because of lack of staffing or lack of funding, and oftentimes it's in areas that are at high fire risk. Now Rough and Ready might be the first one doing this merge, but it likely won't be the last. The Rough and Ready Fire Department sits in the remote, high fire risk Nevada County community. We're not a bookstore. If we close, uh, it impacts people's lives and property. Its doors were set to close for good on June 30th due to a lack of funding. And you can't have a station close during fire season. But now it's neighboring fire districts on the east, Nevada County Consolidated, and on the west, Penn Valley, are merging with Rough and Ready so the doors can stay open. And since we are centrally located, everybody realized in the last year that if this station closes, it has a severe impact. It would mean a lot, actually, because there's fires. We see things going on all the time here. Thinking it runs about a million to, to run a fire station full time, and that would cost all of those folks in that district just more money than they could possibly afford. That's why Nevada County has stepped forward with half a million dollars a year in stopgap funding to keep Rough and Ready open until a memorandum of understanding between the three districts and merges finalized by August 24th. There are a lot of other districts that are in the same boat we're in. In the last five years, Rough and Ready has transitioned from a volunteer only department to paid staff. California State has come out with mandates that are very expensive to small rural departments like our own. One of these costly and time consuming changes, volunteers needing to go through the fire academy. That means we may start to see other rural communities merging with surrounding departments. We'd be the first but not the last. Well, it makes me happy because it, we don't have much in Rough and Ready. It's a small town. Starting July 1st, Rough and Ready will be staffed 24 seven, just in time for fire season. Back out here live, the name you see right now on the building behind me, the question we've been getting from locals, are the names of these fire districts going to be staying the same? At this time, we still don't have that answer, as this merger still needs to be completely finalized, hoping to be finalized by that August 2024 timeline. But one thing we do know is when this merger does happen, all of these fire stations will be under one fire chief.